So what's up guys, it's JK and I'm here with another episode of the Road to Glory series in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. So speaking of this Road to Glory, we don't buy any coins, we don't buy any FIFA points and we start from zero and we don't put any money into the game and we try to have very good experience in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team and in the end we'll compare our squad and let's see how this thing goes out and I already told you in the first couple of episodes I'm going to be following Nepenthes and Nick 28T in the poor man's road to glory and trying to see my progress and evaluate how much I have been doing well along with them. So on the background you might have seen a couple of two player, two gold rare players back and I have obtained from the gold upgrade squad building challenge and I did open a bunch of bronze player, bronze packs and we got so many bronze packs that I did the bronze upgrade pack in the squad building challenge and then the silver upgrade one and the fact I didn't show you is that the whole captured video was around uh, 45 to 50 minutes so it's, it's a very lengthy video and I don't want to comment it that much uh, 50 minutes and I, I barely can't do it as well so I will uh, skip that because it, it's not uh, entirely important and the, what uh, it is important is that only the two rag gold plays back and the last time we did that I got the Pepe in one of the untradeable packs as well but this time the, clearly the luck was on our side but we do acquire a couple of decent uh, decent plays now we got uh, Mondrian, we got Schweinsteiger from one of those packs we did the auto K also get Jesus Navas and a couple of good uh, Russian sentiments who were who are all good for the squad building challenges, especially they are untradeable. And at the final pack, I remember we got uh, Aspel Equator and Tremolinas. Tremolinas is currently the left back in our La Liga squad, and Aspel Equator is uh, the same in our Barclays Premier League squad. So both are very good, decent players now, not the best uh, left backs. Aspel Equator is the highest rated left back in the Barclays Premier League, and Tremolinas is a very decent left back. and. It's a very good choice, especially being an untradeable player, it saves you a couple of thousand coins for the left back spot. And the reason I have those players is only because of bronze packs, and bronze packs is so helpful, and especially in FIFA 17 because of the squad building challenges. And with that due, we are set to move into the division gameplay, and it's going to be a 7 minute division gameplay. And we got uh, not, we didn't win the division 8 in this, uh, in this video but of course I did now and it, it was started uh, it did start to get I can't say it started to get a bit of hard but it started to get frustrating now because um, uh, FIFA 17 is a wonderful game and it's a miles improvement over the uh, last FIFA but there is so much handicap in this game I can't say handicap but there's so much thing you can do to frustrate your opponent apart from the servers and a couple of connection losses disconnects as well so really started to make me first wait now and you, you might have seen a couple of losses through through the minimizing of the game and especially players like me who play in uh, in a computer uh, PC and there are so much notification that computer pops up here and there so when that does when you're uh, if you're in the middle of the game the game minimizes and you get a loss simple as that and it's really frustrating now and and I heard from Reddit is that it's used for anti-cheating, but I don't really che uh, see cheating now. And but the PC is really prone to players like modding, cheating. So and they, that's why EA put it in the game, especially for PC. And it's really frustrating sometimes. And you might have seen a game I was uh, leading 2-1. And the game did minimize and I was offered an easy loss and I did not finish that game. So it happened quite a couple of times now. I think it's four or five times in total over the over the month. And entirely for this reason I was stopped every notification apart from the antivirus one which you can't really stop. So moving on now. And that is one of the major reasons I got a couple of losses in the Division 8 and um, Regarding the foot champions and one another thing that really frustrates me is the opponents in foot champions now. And the other day I got matched up against uh, a guy who had a fire at the back formation and he did park the bus from kickoff and he, he literally frustrated me so mad that I was on the verge of throwing my controller against my room so it's really frustrating 
and he had two pacey strikers now i think benedetta and bakambu from the liga santander and every time i move into his opposition opposition box he he counter attack me and he does so well with a couple of players and he beats me every time and i scored like four or five goals and i could not even get into the box especially when he has six players in his box i really couldn't get the space to manage my play and it was a very hard experience at fifa 17 that's why i hit the foot champions especially the knockout league knockout tournaments the most uh, and for champions I, i i think i will definitely get a try at foot champions when i am uh, uh, quite successful at the divisions or i could get an easy win at the knockout stage and uh, the best i have done at the knockout stages is uh, reaching the uh, third round of the of the knockout and the opponents are very very sweaty players and they use players like musa wadi who are good with the pace and good with the physical and they are uh, quite abusing the game in my opinion but uh, everyone's view is of uh, uh, substantial in nature so moving on we made a couple of uh, new signings to our team now we got uh, mandanda for 14 and a half k especially after butlins loan did run out butlin was a very good keeper he was quite average being an 82 rated low rated gold and i wanted to have a bit upgrade i did look at the market for check and louis and they were quite expensive now check was around 35000 coins and louis was 50k man and so i really couldn't afford that and so i went with mandanda who was a decent 14 and a half k and he gets a decent front line to the hybrids as well so that's it and since hector balorin's loan is about to run out as well i uh, went and bought an atanial klein and in my opinion kyle walker is the best right back although balorin has got massive pace kyle walker is the full fledged composed uh, right back in my opinion but this it was but bit too expensive 20k now and but the uh, client was around like 12000 coins so i picked a uh, client and client with the anchor card is 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 a master of right back so i went with client and client is a decent player with a decent pace as well and in the la liga squad and paraigos loan did go run out and i went and bought uh, i was looking at the market couple of center mids we got benyat we got Uh, Bruno being the center mid, the defensive minded options, but I wanted the attacking minded player. So I went and bought Isco, who, who was around like ten thousand coins. But at time of commenting this video, he was is just around like four thousand coins. So the market crash is coming, guys, because the game is uh, out there for a while, and uh, though uh, there are so much special packs in uh, in packs as well, so much concept coming up soon in FIFA seventeen life cycle. and the team of the year is not really far away as well a couple of months so the market crash market crash would be quite real and especially this is the second month we're getting into the november so it's really time for a market crash now so we are very close to december which would be the major market crash and already the players are very damn cheap in the market so that's all that i wanted to talk in this video and I'm moving through the divisions quite well and we are progressing good with a couple of teams. The Barclays Premier League team is an expensive one because we bought many players from the market like Bai, we got Mandanda from the market and we got Klein. So official low squad it would uh, go around like 60,000 coins in the bag. And the La Liga squad is quite cheap because we got a couple of players from the pack. We got Griezmann who still wandering around with the prices of around 250k but uh, I do really like uh, Griezmann uh, quite well and he's not the out out to out striker but um, his link up play and I really quite like enjoying uh, play, enjoy play with Griezmann so that's going to be the end of this video guys I'll catch you in another video soon